Vamos ao caso número 6. Paciente do sexo feminino, 64 anos, com hemorragia digestiva alta prévia. Ressonância demonstrando trombose das veias esplênica e mesentérica superior, duas lesões císticas, uma com 48 milímetros e outra com 38 milímetros, e uma lesão expansiva na cauda do pâncreas, medido 22 por 41 milímetros. Estas são as imagens da coluna de ressonância. Qual a sua conduta? Sim, sim, estamos ouvindo. Ok, and do you have the EOS image? Temos a imagem da eco. Ok, so this is a very interesting case. Uh, so we are in the duodenal bulb. We're actually using a Pentax uh, scope with a Hitachi processor with uh, elastography. And we'll be able to, to demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, we're in the duodenal bulb right now and uh, looking at the head of the pancreas. Uh, nothing much uh, here, but when we turn the scope and we look at the right hepatic lobe, Anytime we have a pancreatic mass, of course, we want to examine the, uh, the liver. And here, scrolling back, we're going to see this uh, lesion here. And we already measured it. It's about 12 millimeter. So this is a right hepatic a uh, lobe lesion, definitely suspicious. And uh, we saw another one right at the dome there. Here, also small one. We're going to come back to the stomach so they're telling us there are lesions in the body and tail of the pancreas. I'm coming back slowly here. We're turning my, sc turning my scope to find the pancreas. And here... We see the pancreatic, the pancreas at the neck. We see a non-dilated pancreatic duct here in the neck. And here, you're going to notice that we see what I think this is here. It's a uh, portal vein thrombus. And if we look actually carefully here, we, don't, we can't see the, the splenic vein. So I think this patient has uh, portal vein thrombosis and splenic vein thrombosis. And this is uh, the likely cause of portal hypertension and uh, a prior gastric variceal bleed. So now if we come to the body, we're starting to see this cystic lesion here or a uh, mass with, uh, that's predominantly cystic, but also we see a solid component clearly there. So we see a solid component, but if we continue to examine the cyst carefully here, we see there is a, a huge cystic component. Let me focus the examination. It's a very large cyst. It's at least uh, 8 to 10 centimeter meter. And uh, they thought initially that these were two lesions. But so you see here the mass component here. And we can see that this is uh, clearly originating from the wall of the. Component solid. Yeah, this is a solid component. 
and we can see it's uh, in continuation here with uh, with the wall so we're going to uh, let's do elastography here to see if we uh, to measure the elasticity of uh, this lesion vai fazer então uma elastografia que é uma técnica do ultrassom endoscópico aí que a Pentax desenvolveu e vai medir a elasticidade da lesão. So we're going to measure the the hardness of the lesion itself. So we're looking at the elastography mode and we're also looking at the B mode. And so this is the lesion here and we want to choose an area outside the lesion usually red and now we're going to compare the elasticity elasticity or the hardness of uh, the so we the strain ratio is the hardness of the area outside to the uh, to, to b over a so this is uh, 22 so this is very high which means the uh, tissue itself is very hard. Uh, usually I go with a strain ratio of 6 or 6.1. And of course, this is uh, very high. This is 22. Uh, so this is, the, this is suggestive of uh, malignancy in that, in that part. So if we continue to examine through the body and tail, slowly here we'll see, we'll, we will see a índice muito alto porque acima de 6 o que sugere malignidade we will see another here another lesion uh, not sure they these two may be connected you see here um, I don't think this is a normal pancreas in between I think this is a just a mass mass component and if we continue to this second lesion or the extension of the first lesion we again see another nodule here and if we examine it well we will see I'm gonna focus here so we want to look here and you can see the extension of this to outside the wall. This is the nodule and carefully examining you see here the thickness so this is uh, we're going to go the other way you can see this is all part of the same process. Here you go. So uh, so it looks like we're dealing with a uh, neoplastic process that's basically replacing the body and tail of the pancreas with hepatic lesions. Given the patient's age, location of these lesions, the predominant cystic component, the first thing I think about is a mucinous cystic adenocarcinoma. Uh, given its body tail and given she's a female and older age and the predominant cystic component. This is the number uh, one differential that comes uh, to mind. Uh, of course, a, a uh, neuroendocrine tumor with cystic degeneration uh, can happen, but, uh, but, but I, I, I just think this is an, an MCN. So the idea was to maybe target the hepatic lesion. Uh, I, I really think it's very small and, uh, and uh, we, bar we can barely see it. So I would like to target uh, this lesion here. So we'll definitely get some cystic fluid and we send it for uh, cytology, CA, amylase and we'll target this uh, lesion and hopefully we can uh, get some, uh, some tissue. Uh, I'm going to use a, uh, typically I, my go-to needle is a 22 gauge needle. Here to be able to uh, aspirate good, good amount of fluid, we're gonna start with a, uh, with a 19 gauge needle. This patient has varices so, uh, so we want to make sure uh, we're safe here. We can get a 19 gauge needle, guys. 19, 19 gauge. Uh, our pathway is safe uh, uh, with uh, with Doppler, and we don't see any uh, varices uh, in our way. 
So we're going to use a 19 gauge needle, and we do have a uh, cytopathology uh, helping us here. Uh, this is uh, what how we practice at our hospital. We uh, we practice throws or rapid on-site evaluation for adequacy of uh, of the tissue. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can open. We're using a uh, 19 gauge. Uh, Expect uh, needle by Boston Scientific. Yeah, you can remove that sheet. Uh, and we can also remove the stylet. Can you help us move the stylet? Pull the stylet out. Yep. Oh, that, that. Tá. Estão vendo aí a, a parte externa também do, do procedimento? Parada. And you can pull it out of the sheath. Yep, just pull. Like that. Estamos vendo sim a parte externa. Então aqui é o Walton. Aqui é o Walton. Vou fazer alguns comentários enquanto ele prepara a agulha. Can we get the syringe, suction syringe? O principal valor aqui da punção é realmente definir o tipo histológico, já que do ponto de vista terapêutico vai ser sempre paliativo, porque já tem metástase, já tem invasão vascular. É, houve a suspeita do neuroendócrino pela radiologia devido ao comportamento local da lesão com invasão vascular. Então é muito importante que tenha uma histologia para definir é, qual que vai ser o tratamento oncológico para o paciente. É, ele fez a opção para agulha de 19 gauge, é, fez o uso de, de antibiótico profilático devido a componente cístico, e então vai fazer uma, uma punção ecoguiada preferencialmente da lesão alvo, da lesão maior, já que as, os nódulos hepáticos são menores e pode não ter material suficiente para, para exame. Então ele vai fazer uma punção biópsia com a agulha de 19 gauge. Yeah, of course, yeah, it's a cystic component. So the, uh, it definitely feels like soft tissue rather than, it, it doesn't feel hard at all. Um, here I'm also trying to get fluid, so we're just gonna fill this up. And uh, so we will send uh, CA and MLAs and also everything else for cytology. And uh, we'll do a second pass, just concentrating on the mass component. Perfect. And I'm trying here to sample the, this mass, so I'm fanning a little bit here. Okay. É, saiu um líquido, não sei se eles mostraram, hein? a câmera mostrou, Vamos saiu um líquido lateral. bem turvo. Vamos iniciar outro caso aqui, Quer pegar? na outra Patologia. sala, enquanto, enquanto o pessoal vai colhendo, colhendo biópsias aí dessa lesão. Pra Foi suficiente fazer, é, é, e ele vai fazer agora okay, então, as considerações Walton. finais, ok? Está filmando o material colhido. Doutor Cachalé, por favor. So we, uh, we just did a second pass uh, to just increase the yield and get more tissue. And it looks like they do have some tissue fragments. So, and they were able to, to put some of it uh, in formalin. So that goes straight to histopathology. And this has been our ex experience when we, use a, when we use a 19 gauge needle. Even if it's not a, a core needle, uh, we can obtain a, uh, tissue uh, frequently and send it straight to uh, pathology rather than uh, cyto cytopathology. Uh, so we're just gonna uh, get uh, wait for the feedback on rapid on-site evaluation for ag adequacy of the tissue and if it's adequate then we're going to stop here. So again we did uh, two passes. 
uh, if the lesion, if the cyst was a little smaller, I would have aspirated the whole fluid. Uh, this uh, has uh, been associated with, uh, or theoretically associated with decreased uh, risk of uh, infection of the cyst. But this is, is too big to, uh, to, aspirate, uh, to aspirate it uh, dry. So the patient already got pre-procedural antibiotics and we will give uh, post-procedural antibiotics for uh, three days to protect, uh, to protect infection uh, of the cyst. Uh, so that's it for now. We're just gonna wait for, uh, for the feedback from our pathologist. Fala ou não? Bom, terminamos então. Muito então, obrigado. Então vamos aguardar o resultado do tá para ver se ele vai precisar rebiopsiar. Okay. Vamos voltar então para o caso da, da ligadura elástica. O patologista quer comentar, parada. Finais. Parada. Ah, já, tem o coment... já tem o comentário do patologista, então vamos lá. Na realidade, é, o nosso alerta aqui, depois de um procedimento tão bem executado, é que tem que haver um pouquinho de habilidade para separar o trigo do joio, para garantir um esfregaço que não seja macetado, que seja delicado. Separamos alguns fragmentos, citologia para milase, citologia para ser centrifugada, vejam que beleza de material. Isso aqui é, é microbiópsia, né? Então agora nós vamos correndo para lá, que o doutor está esperando um parecer, mas a gente não podia deixar de dizer que tem que ter um pouco de habilidade para mexer com isso aqui, senão sai um ótimo material lá e estraga aqui. Certo? É só isso por enquanto. Daqui a pouco a gente volta. So, uh, so it looks Don't like the, patholo aqui, the pathologist is happy. So if he's happy, I'm happy. So we're going to pull, uh, pull the scope here, okay? <laughs>